spot. So nice. And radar deprivation. So nice, Matt. In green ah. On Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here. Welcome back to some Mech War Online news. We've got a video here with some May feature updates. Uh, I haven't watched this. We're going to watch it live and I'm going to comment on this up in the corner there. You can see Matt. This isn't a devlog. This is a features update. So it looks like they're trying something new, maybe to hype the, uh, well, May patch. We don't know. We're, we've speculated uh, vent queue, skill tree, all that fun stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just watch and see what this is, shall we? Greetings, Mech Warriors. It's Matt from Piranha Games here, and I want to give you an update on how things are going for the May patch. Um, in particular, I wanted to update you on how we're integrating all the feedback you guys have given us for the quirks and quirk display, as well as some changes we've made to the skill tree and show you some of the final color coding here. All right, so let's dive in and take a look. I think you guys are going to really like what you see here. So first of all, um, I'm going to demo this with the Blackjack Arrow here. I'm going to go to the Select Mech screen. And when I mouse over it, here we have the quirks list. Now I haven't scaled this mech yet, so right now it's just showing quirks at the top, all in white, the base uh, quirks of the mech. And then below there is skills. As you skill up the mech with the skill tree, they will display below there. Now they will run off the page eventually and they will be color coded, but your base quirks will still be there. Beyond that, we integrated your feedback into here. So now we have quirks in the mech stats as a separate item and then quirks and skills. What will happen as I upgrade this with my skills is that it will combine the quirks and the skills. Anything that receives a bonus from the skills will change color to that actual skill color. And this view is available as well. I do want to point out that that view is available when you're in the mech lab. So it will have your quirks separate and then quirks and skills. You can reference those as you are uh, equipping your mech with awesome that's actually one of the things i pointed out in the last devlog video which is the main reason for people suggesting suggesting quirks and skills to be different was so that when you go to look at a uh, mech that's already skilled out you knew what quirks for instance if it has a hunchback 4g how much ac is it ac20 you it just makes it super easy like because there's generic ones as well it get, gets really confusing so anyways that's fantastic yes it's a little bit more ui work for the most part you're going to be looking at the quirks plus skills page but when you want to revamp a mech you now know okay this is the mech space quirks and i can then play off of that and that's actually really really nice so great job on that various equipment and whatnot so let's take a look at the skill tree so here's a first look at some of the changes we've been making based on your feedback and some ideas that we had been working on during the process. So what we've done is we've kept the base color of the skills blue and then anything that is weapon specific. Uh, we've assigned it the colors from the mech lab. So purple for ballistics, yellow for energy and green for uh, missile systems. Uh, we've also adapted some of the other colors. We've added a few uh, AMS overload has this kind of a neon green to it and we've assigned that to any kind of anti-missile system so missile being green AMS is now green here as well uh, for the trees that are combined we wanted to add some slight color variation and we did that by darkening the speed tweak nodes around the rest of these kinetic burst nodes I just want to point out how awesome it is that you can unlock the entire tree there with one click you know and I'll give props where it's due. That's absolutely fantastic. It takes this 91 clicks down dramatically because if I do uh, cooldown, all I have to do is click the very bottom one. I no longer have to mess around with. That is another huge feature. If you missed that on the devlog video, that is a feature coming. That's why if you notice here when he was mousing over, it was highlighting red. And what that all it does is all you gotta do is click the bottom one, doo -doo -doo -doo, and all of it done. If you wanna get rid of them, click the top one. Doo -doo -doo and it's gone and uh, sound effects sound effects are not included but you know maybe over here we've got seismic in red uh, because we felt like those were high value nodes and the players would want to know when they have them so seismic nodes show up in red on the target info gathering so slash seismic sensor tree and you uh, will see that same color 
and the quirks as well. Radar deprivation, we feel like that's more of like an anti-missile system, denying the, the enemy radar locks. Uh, so we grouped it with the same color as AMS. Hmm. I don't know if I would agree with that. I understand the principle alone. It's more like anti-information. It just so happens to only affect really missiles. I don't know if I like the green on it. I would probably just lump them with seismic and keep them red. That's just my personal like initial just reaction. I do like the color separation though. That's absolutely fantastic um, with that. But it's not necessarily an anti-missile system. It's an anti-information system being able to track your opponent and their stuff like that. Just so happens like I uh, repeat, it only affects missile systems where it's actually um, it's actually really important knowing if you have uh, any weapon system, whether it's ballistic or energy, where a target's going. Um, and if they don't have red or deprivation, then um, obviously you're going to be able to see where they're going. So maybe just keep it red. I don't know. Uh, but it is different color, which I think is great. Um, but I don't necessarily uh, tune it with just missiles. And then as well, uh, ECM. You can't see it on here because I don't have an ECM mech, but I will demo that after this. ECM is actually an orange because that's what the ECM system colors are. Hand Snark is green because it complements missile systems. And then finally, we've made uh, consumable slots a purple. Now, a couple other improvements I really want to point out here is that we've really been testing and iterating on all of the, uh, the way you interact with the skill tree system. You can... You know, obviously select these nodes. Oh, that's so nice. Um, and then buy the, oh, let me buy some skill points here. Just crank it up for the purpose of demoing. Super easy to apply the changes. So as you notice, these radar deprivation are uh, green here. So I'm gonna quickly go into this mouse over. You can see sensor range oh, that 35. Looks so nice. And radar deprivation. So nice, Matt. In green ah. On there and then the same reflected in the mech stats as well. Sensor range and radar deprivation. Look at that! Again, you can just see separated quirks ah. and then quirks plus skills. Now, I know some of you guys out there are like, look, it's really not that big of a deal. But I would argue, yeah, it is and it has been. And this is something that we wanted for a very long time. So thank you. Uh, looks absolutely great. Gives you a compiled list of all the bonuses that your mech has from your the mech quirks and the skill tree system. Another thing I wanted to show you here is as I mouse over this node, it shows me that that's the only one I'm going to be buying a skill point for because the rest of these are okay. I'm going to unlock or I'm going to unequip all those. I mouse over here. For these, it shows the re-equip icon. For this last one, it shows the skill point icon. So it's a lot more informative. This becomes re-equip. This becomes a skill point icon, skill point. So maxing out your trees is a lot easier, a lot more visually pleasing, and a lot more informative. Right here, this indicates four skill points from top to bottom. Here as well. We have the same thing. I'm gonna apply these changes. And then take a look at the mech. Apologies, my computer is loading very, very slowly here. Look at that. It is nice. Extra consumable slot plus four. That is super nice. UAV nodes in blue uh, from the auxiliary systems. Sensor range here. So I'm going to go back to the skills, grab a couple other ones. I'll show you what seismic looks like. I'll show you all basically the color variations that we have. Give you a sense of what these color skills look like get some more of these skills here so you can see the colorization uh, i'm going to grab these laser notes here the thing i really want you to, to see is how um, obvious it is what it is i'm getting and what i'm spending i'm going to apply these changes so again this build is a little bit uh, slow simply because i'm running it across remote desktop Roll over. As you can see, um, basically, they've scrolled right off the page here um, as you mouse over. You can see the fact that, yes, you've skilled this mech, but it says check mech stats for complete list. And this is the mech stats. So here we are, quirks of the mech. You can always check that valuable source of information of what the base quirks are. And then quirks and skills compiles everything, everything you want to know into one list of what all the bonuses are. 
another thing to point out is yes uh, this does also carry over into your mech lab so you can very easily access just the base quirks while you're loading out your mech and then as well see the quirks and the skills at the same time so you understand what quirks are being applied uh, you can see on the the assassin here it's got purple yellow green for missiles and then the neon green for the ams and then orange for ecm that's the color the nodes would be in the skill tree here show you that color makes it really really obvious oh yeah another thing to point out is that uh, this tree was changed based on your feedback that the cauldron listened to you and said hey we've got a feedback that the players are giving us um we think the sensor range ecm and radar tree should be arranged in this way so people can start getting that radar deprivation right away rather than being like right at the base so we took that information and uh, added it so so here we are in mech stats. You can see um, target range reduction plus 45%. Uh, one of the things we are talking about based on your feedback as well, once we get this skill tree, new skill tree set up um, and rolled out, um, we really want to take a look at the, uh, the values of the nodes within the tree and make sure every um, group has a good trade-off or a good reason to actually have it or use it. So. And that's actually something I pointed out in the last video, which is with the system right here and it actually being separated, it allows you to weight the nodes a little bit better. And what that means is being able to change the values. In my opinion, there are really, really strong nodes out there and looking at radar deprivation, that's changed the game fundamentally since radar dep was introduced. That's a whole nother tangent, but my point being is now the jump jet skill tree that really no one ever brings except for a very rare moment can be boosted up or retroactively they could nerf certain nodes i know a lot of people don't like nerfs and the 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 usage of nerfs but there are some things that i think could be brought back down into line and now they have the freedom to be able to do that um, with this system so i really like hearing basically just what uh, he said there so we'll be tuning values beyond the release of the actual skill tree. But I think it's really, really great. Uh, all the feedback you guys have provided. Um... One thing I've always wondered is if they could clean up the ammo node. Uh, so when you do the ammo nodes, you can see it lists off every single weapon. I've always sort of wondered, could they, you always go to the skill tree after the fact. So I've always wondered if they could just only list the weapons and the ammo capacity bonus of the weapon you have. Or could they just blank it and say, hey, yeah, all ammo got 20% bonus instead of listing out every, because I just feel like it's just a, literally it takes up so much screen space and I never understood why it was, I mean, it looks like it's an easy way, but it should be, if the weapon's equipped, then it shows the ammo um, bonuses that it get. When you equip a weapon and the ammo, you drop the ammo, then it displays the ammo. Um, the, the only thing, that, like I said, is that's my, uh, that's been a gripe of long uh, standing, but I've always wondered if they could do that because that would clean up the UI even more. I mean, literally, I would say 60 per, uh, no, probably 80% of uh, the quirks listed right there are ammo for weapons that this mech doesn't even have equipped. So that's one thing I would, that would be cool if they could clean up there. We spent a considerable amount of time diving back in, looking at, you know, what we could do what your desires were as players uh, to display the quirks, to see the quirks and the skills. Um, and I think it's, you know, the best uh, option that we've had here. And with that, I uh, just wanted to say thank you very much for all your feedback. We're super stoked to release this to you guys. Get it in your hands. Can't wait for uh, you guys to play with this. Uh, we got some really other exciting stuff planned for that release. May is going to be a huge month. Uh, a lot of stuff coming out in May. The events, uh, event queue. Uh, is looking like it's going to line up for May as well. Uh, the new map that Francois is working on. Um, tell all your friends to come back and check it out. Anyone who didn't like the skill tree previously, I think it's going to be a lot easier to use, a lot easier to understand. The grind reduction and uh, yeah, some other cool things planned for the May release. So, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. That's absolutely fantastic. Also note the platinum pack in the background too. So just sort of uh, keep that man. Nova Cat and Mauler, platinum. Um, everything about this is awesome. Um, it was actually interesting that he sort of confirmed, not wholeheartedly, that 
uh, May is going to be the event queue. Now, why is that important if you're watching this video? Is because Solaris will be removed from the front of the UI. They will be rebranding MWO. We have no inkling of what it is. I'm calling for like MWO revived or rekindled. No, it's not gonna be rekindled, but something catchy, phrasy, and what they're doing. Um, you know, maybe it just goes back to Mechware Online. I don't know. But as of right now, uh, he basically just said event queue is coming out next uh, month in May. This is coming out next month, which also means uh, removal of Solaris and then uh, event queue is going to start. I'm assuming they're going to have a cool event with that. I'm looking forward to seeing what the details are. I'm looking forward to testing out event queue. I have my uh, worries, but I also have my uh, optimisms as well. I think it could be really, really fun. So uh, obviously we have to wait on more details. I don't know if they'll release a devlog in between now and then, but I sort of consider this a devlog. Uh, I do appreciate it, Matt, for doing this because it did reassure us that you guys uh, obviously made changes too and took notes because there was there were a few uh, you know nodes that uh, again were were pretty powerful and uh, needed rearranged. So it's great to hear that. As far as the color coordination, I think that's absolutely fantastic. It's a quality of life update that again a lot of us have been wanting for years, and this particular update is a breath of fresh air um i you know will will recommend like he said if you had a buddy because we had a quite a bit of people that left because of this um let them know like hey finally uh you know took them a few years but maybe check this out so we'll see uh how that goes but regardless what's also intriguing with this update is what happens next and that is where i'm really really excited for the conversation to turn with the devs which is faction play and what are they going to do with it and what is possible so obviously we'll have to wait but only right now uh speculation bound that's what i'm looking forward to um the quality of life thing here i'm looking forward to matchmaker let's let's talk about matchmaker quality of life stuff they can do there uh, a lot like this i think there's some room there's some bug room that can give us a little bit better matches and i do know obviously from hearing from them and talking is that they've uh they've they have been looking at stuff. We've heard Jay Z's named a few times. For those that don't know, uh, he's a very intelligent guy over from Australia that's been uh, looking at possibly like a second check system or something like that. So, uh, anyways, more on that when there's any official word or if there is an official word. But, um, anyways, really cool. Just wanted to sort of go over this. My initial reactions watching it with you. Um, really, really cool stuff. Very, very nice. I approve of this message and I look forward to actually utilizing. Um, this in the future it's gonna make life so much easier and also um, yeah we got some new toys to play with so guys if you found this informative make sure to click that like button spread the word the gospel to other mech bros out there leave a comment are you looking forward to this is this is this if you left because of the skill tree is this compromise acceptable to you because that's what i sort of look at this being it's a compromise does it get rid of 91 clicks it reduces them dramatically depending on which path you go you no longer have to go for BS nodes that you didn't want, except for like radar deprivation that have to do with sensors and stuff. You know, you got to pick those up. Um, is this acceptable to you? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and if you guys, again, um, make sure to join us on Discord. I'll have a link down below. I stream Monday through Friday, 12 to 6 p.m. I'll have a link to my Twitch page, twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV. If uh, you like this, consider becoming a patron. It really does help support the channel. It keeps the lights on, food on the table. Consider it linked down in the description. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you on the next video. Until next time. Just a friendly reminder, we have a sale going on over at our store. If you didn't know, a link will be down below. 10% off all orders over $10 for the entire month of April. Enjoy.